Good evening, YouTube. Pipe Lawyer here, coming to you once again on a chilly Friday night, but Friday night nonetheless. And that means, of course, it's time for Friday Night Pipes. Yes. And this week's MVP is... Hmm. Which one of my pipes should be my MVP? I know. All of them. Yes, this week's MVP, Most Valuable Pipe, is the entire Pipe Lawyer Pipe Collection. Now, I've been taking some styling cues from several of you there on YouTube, pipe smokers, uh, showing off your, your various assortment of pipes and how you display them, how you arrange them, and how you store them. And uh, I, I don't have a, a pipe cabinet, per se, or, or a large singular you know, unit pipe cabinet, per se, but uh, I've done the next best thing. I've taken one of the two recessed walls here in the sanctuary where uh, are built-in bookshelves and I've taken one that I use for uh, some books and most of my music and employed it for use as a built-in pipe rack. Check it out. Yes, there's a pan out, zoom out view of it right there. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I think it worked out nice. Coupled close together are two of my passions, good music and pipe smoking. So let's take a look, shall we? Yeah. The main influence for arranging my pipes on a set of bookshelves like this came from Milverton68. Uh, he had a video about a year ago where he started off showing his assortment of pipes in this way, and I thought it looked really neat, so I figured I'd, I'd try to copy the same motif. Over in the corner, hiding in the minor darkness, is the Randy Wiley freehand. Next to it is the Mario Grandi Jumbo Egg. Mario Grandi Jumbo Billiard. Barry Wyking. Two Mario Grandi Pokers. Lorenzo Umpal, Yobi Dansk, hand cut freehand. Next to that is the Boswell Antique Black Cherry Pipe. Next to that is a Ben Wade Partial Freehand. And next to that are two Boswell Sitter Umpals. That is the first tier. Yes. And of course you have. Messieurs Hollow Notes, Joe Cocker, Linda Ronstadt, Tony Bennett, Paul Carrick, George Benson, Clay Aiken, please don't judge me, Gordon Lightfoot, all agreeing on what a spectacular pipe array they have in front of them. Over here on the second tier is uh, the most recent acquisition I've uh, attained from eBay. It's that antique pipe stand that has the arch. And in it I have some... I've got this one Boswell Zulu or Dublin pipe with the green emerald stem. But I, I filled it up mainly with the estate pipes that I purchased uh, from Red at Tobacco World. And a couple of them also are pipes that I purchased from uh, Edwards Pipe and Tobacco Shop. In this rack here, there's a Boswell Freehand Apple, Cheriton, Yobi, Edwards Pipe and Tobacco, No Name Calabash, GBD. Sandwiched right next to it is in hiding, in plain sight, is a Mario Grande large tulip pipe, Floyd Norwood uh, makeover pipe, and next to that, in here, I have a Boswell and a Pipester Jim Stanwell pipe. Brandy shape. Here's an Ardor Calabash, which is the subject of affection for many of you out there in YouTube land. Next to it is my Sarah Jacopo pipe, rusticated Rhodesian. Very nice. Over here on this side, you have a Boswell Umpal miniature or a small one. I uh, got a couple of, there's a Mario Grande, there's a Nording, there's another one there, I think it's, that's a Nirup 
pining back there next to the Boswell and Paul. Over here in the corner is a classic Sherlock Holmes calabash, which you've seen me smoke a couple of times in previous videos, nestled up ever so lovingly against a volume of Sherlock Holmes stories. Yes. Uh, the Complete Sherlock Holmes Volume 2, I believe, yes. On top of that is a box containing the unsmoked Bjarna pipe that I got from Red, also as part of the estate package. That's the second tier. Third tier, down below you'll see this rack here with a little t tobacco jar here, and there's one here also. This one's empty, this one's got some Boswell's country sign in it. Boswell, Boswell, Bjarna, Norwood, Kiselev. Over here I have, in back of here, I have uh, my first pipe that I bought, in my, and there's also a corn cob. I think that's the hard case there for the um, Calabash, the, the Sherlock Holmes Calabash. Boswell, 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 and yes, Boswell. And again, there's the Clay Aiken, Please Don't Judge Me, and soundtrack to Rocky Balboa, Michael McDonald, Motown, Craig Shoemaker Meets the Love Master, it's a comedy album, Queen's Greatest Hits, uh, Wynton Marsalis, The Best of Ken Burns Jazz, Solomon Burke, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, 38 Special, Bill Withers, uh, some classic Rod Stewart, Sting, The Spinners, I like it all, yes. Yeah, so uh, there you have it, my pipe collection. Then down here I have some pipe books, coupled with The Art of War. The first rule of which is to smoke a pipe prior to planning your attack. And there you have it, there is the MVP for this week's edition of Friday Night Pipes, the Pipe Lawyer Pipe Collection. Assorted in Milverton 68 style, I guess you can say. I think it turned out well. I, I, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, rather than have it hidden away in some closed up armoire, it's nice to see them all displayed. So, thumbs up! So until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And remember, as always, I'll present the evidence, but you, my friends, you be the judge. Take care and Lord bless. Good night. Don't judge me.